and truth. The prosecution bends and twists those words for his own purposes. He seems to think that an emotional appeal to get you to identify with the victim will somehow close your minds to the real lack of evidence against the defendant, David Laurent. Far from leading you to the truth, Mr. Capwell's tactic is to use this smokescreen of melodrama to divert you from it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I refuse to preside over this melodrama. This is going to be a reasoned trial. I will appeal to your intelligence and your sense of justice rather than inflame your imagination. And I have to tell you, I am confident that you, the jury, will acquit my client for one simple reason. He did not kill his wife. He didn't come to Santa Barbara to kill her. He came to persuade her to give their marriage another try. Because he loved her. He loved Madeline. And not her money. Now, the special prosecutor will try to paint this picture as Dave, of David as being this penniless adventurer who was always and only after his wife's fortune. This is a complete misrepresentation. Mr. Laurent has been a very successful businessman. He loved his work, and he was good at it. He was creative, he was enterprising, he was daring. And yes, he sometimes took risks which occasionally set him back with temporary reverses. Happens to the best of us. Now, his wife, Madeline, helped him out on one particular occasion by lending him some money for one particular enterprise. But he was never dependent on his wife for a living. If he had walked out of that marriage penniless, he would have his choice of any number of high-powered, high-paying jobs to choose from. Now, I will bring in witnesses to testify that whatever Madeline Capwell Laurent contributed to the marriage financially, Mr. Laurent more than made up for by his business expertise. Madeline wasn't interested in business. She gladly left the exhilaration and the headache of it to her husband because theirs was an equal partnership in value both given and received. All right, let's get back to these facts. And Mr. Capwell seems to think will prove beyond reasonable doubt my client's guilt. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to try a different tact. I'm going to tell you what it will not prove. It will not prove that David came to Santa Barbara to kill his wife. It will not prove that he was there in the bungalow at the time of the attack. And above all, there is no evidence. The evidence will not show that there was any real motive. So you see, the state's motive for murder is no motive at all. I'd like you to do something for me, if you will. I would like you to look once again at David Laurent, but this time with no one's eyes but your own. Please, please don't cloud your vision with Mr. Capwell's fantasies, because we are here to search for the real truth. And the real truth can only be assessed by the actual evidence, or the lack of in this particular case. Madeline was indeed a tragic victim. But the man that you're looking at is a victim, too. Not only has he suffered the loss of his wife, but he's suffered the pain of being accused of her death. He has an added burden. He's been cast out of a family that he's recently been made part of. You see, the Capwells have turned on David. They've pitted their wealth, their influence, and their powerful connections against him. In fact, in their eyes, he's already been found guilty, without benefit of a trial. They've even exercised their influence right here in this courtroom. He is on Capwell turf, and they are determined that he will be convicted as a murderer. Now, there's probably one last, excuse me, one last question nagging at your mind. If David was such a decent, 
devoted, loving husband. Why did she want to divorce him? Believe me, that's a perfectly human, natural question to ask. But one that mustn't be answered easily. There were two people involved in this marriage. If things went wrong, two people are responsible. Madeline was a capable, a bright, and a very attractive woman. But she was also a complex, difficult, and by all accounts, a controversial character. Many, many people had a negative reaction to Madeline. In fact, she made many enemies. I intend to prove that someone else besides her husband could have killed Madeline. I will indeed prove that someone else had the means, the motive, and the opportunity to kill her. Now you alone can bring that person to justice. But first, justice needs to be done right here in this courtroom. Now you can't bring Madeline back to life. And you certainly can't compensate her husband his loss and his pain. But you can restore to an innocent man just some measure of a human normal life. You can bring him justice by bringing in a verdict of not guilty. Thank you. <coughs>